Lord Jesus, we bless you, we honor you, we praise you, God. Amen. Because God, you're so worthy. Yes. Hallowed be thy holy and divine name. You sit high, we look low, Father. So we thank you. We thank you for another opportunity to live, move, and have our being. Yes. Father, have your way tonight. Please, Lord. Father, we thank you so much, dear Lord, for your word. Yes. And we pray that your word would permeate our hearts. Please, Lord. And we pray, dear Lord, that it would create a behavior in us. Yes. A faith in us, Father. Yes. That would be well pleasing unto you, Father. Yes. Father, we be so careful to give you all of the glory. Father, we just need the blessing. Yes. Father, we thank you for everyone that's here in the sound of my voice. Amen. Father, we thank you for those who uh, are here tonight, dear Lord, but they are struggling uh, mentally, they are struggling spiritually, yes. they are struggling, dear Lord, financially, dear Lord. Amen. They are struggling in some sort of a uh, shape, form, or fashion in their life. Mm -hmm. But they thought it not robbery, dear Lord, to come, dear Lord, and, and lift, lift your name up, Father, and praise you. I hear another portion of your word. Would you bless them? Would you fix whatever it is, dear Lord, that they need fixing, Father? Would you build whatever needs building, Father? Would you mend whatever needs mending, Father? You're that kind of a God. Yes, And this evening, Father, we need a word that's going to help and sustain our lives. In Jesus' name, do we ask this prayer? We say amen. 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 We are continuing our uh, series in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. We are on Genesis tonight. We are looking at chapter number 13. Amen. Amen. Uh, last week, uh, we looked at uh, chapter number 12, and we talked a little bit about how uh, Abraham had, uh, he was faced under a lot of pressure. Uh-huh. And, uh, we talked about performance under pressure That's right. and how God uh, expects us, even though we're under pressure, Matthew, he expects us Amen. to continue to perform. Amen. Mama Vince, he wants us to continue. He gives us what it is. He wouldn't give us and expect us to do something that we couldn't do. Amen. Uh, he gives us the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. He gave us the Holy Spirit so that we can continue to perform under pressure. Amen. Amen. So whatever it is that comes our way, we can still perform. Awesome. Whatever it is that it hinders us, we can still perform. Amen. Whatever it is that comes good, we can still perform. Amen. Why? Because he gives us and he equips us Amen. to be able to perform under uh, pressure. Abraham got caught up in a couple of lives. Mm -hmm. He got caught up in fear. And he risked his whole family. And he risked his whole family's uh, safekeeping and their well-being uh, for his own selfishness. But we all have a little Abraham in us. We all have a little selfishness in us. And tonight we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to talk about conflict resolution tonight. Amen. Conflict of resolution. And if you how many studied the lesson? Amen. 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 Patrick, give me some uh, right here, please. Uh, uh, conflict resolution, resolving conflict is, is a very, uh, very, very vital thing uh, to that of peace. Amen. 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 Yeah. Uh, conflict is the arch enemy of peace. Yes. Amen. Amen. You cannot have peace with conflict. Amen. Uh, and, and tonight we're going to look at some things biblically. Uh, right out of this text, we're looking at contextually verses number one uh, through verses number 18. But we're going to look at it and lift up some principles on how it is. What did, did Abraham do in the midst of his conflict? And what did he what did he not do? What did he do? And what happened? And we want to know because you know what? Wherever you go, you're going to have conflict. Yeah. Amen. At your job, you're going to have conflict. Yeah. At your household, you're going to have conflict. At the family reunion, you're going to have conflict. Wherever you go, Sean, you're going to have conflict. Right. The thing about us as Christians, as believers, God wants to see how it is that you can resolve conflict. Amen. 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 Look at chapter number 13. Let's lift up verse number one. And yes, amen. 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 Verse number one. The Bible says, and Abram, 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 Abram went up out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Abram, Abram, 
Pharaoh went up out of Egypt. He went up out of Egypt, and he and his wife, uh, and all that he had, and Lot was with him in the south. Now, if it is that you remember back last week, remember that we, we, we talked about how it is that Abraham went down, amen, he went down to Egypt. Right. Whenever it is that you go away from where God assigned you to go, your life is going to start going, going down. Going down. Going down. Amen. So Abraham, he went out of Egypt. Watch what, what he's doing. Actually, what he's doing, Sean, Abraham has repented. Amen. Abraham, see, see the thing about us, uh, look at it. When you make up, when you mess up, make up. Amen. Don't dwell in the place that you that you messed up. Don't stay there and keep on having a pity party. Right. Don't keep on getting beating yourself up and feeling guilty. When it is that you mess up, why don't you repent and then get back on your heart with Amen. God? Because God, that's what He wants for you. Amen. Amen. Kinfolk are the 
very barrier to your blessing. Yeah. Amen. Because sometimes, like you said, kid folk are the ones that knew you all your life and don't want you. They're cool as long as you don't go past them. Right. Amen. When God has a promise on your life, he doesn't want you to gauge your barometer by kid folk. That's yes, right. right. Yeah. He wants you to go and move on out the way he wants you to move. Amen. So let me go back to this one. Amen. Uh, Abraham still has a lot. Hmm. He, he still has a lot. With right, uh -huh. right. That's a little lot. Who do you still have with you that mm. God told you to get rid of? Mm. Right. Yeah, that quiet right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Who in your life has God told you to get rid of? Uh. But you're still hanging on the line. Uh, you want the promise, uh, but you still can't let go of That's right. Yeah. You still can't let go of life. Uh, you still can't let go of life. And God has told you, I told you in the first place, give me life. Now, watch this here. Verse number two. Because I know you don't like when I start uh, laughing. Uh, but it's right there in your text, so you can't get it bad. Watch this. The Bible said that Abram was what? Very rich in cattle and in silver. And then go. Now, here's the critical uh, question you gotta ask yourself. How, Sister Davis, did Abraham get so rich? Uh, that's in the old time. Yeah. Well, it was in the last lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, he amassed a lot of his riches. Yeah. Watch this here. We don't read about him being rich in the early chapter nope. when he got called out. In fact, Pharaoh was peddling and selling charms. He was an idolater, and he used to sell them the idolatry and the idolatry charm. And it was believed that Abraham was selling them too. Mm -hmm. So they could have had all this cattle and all that right in the early child. Uh -huh. Watch this here. Here's the shopping news right here. When it is that Abraham, one of his greatest mess ups, when he told a lie about his wife, watch this here. And his great, one of his greatest mess ups is when God, Allowed him to mess up, but yet, even though he disobeyed, God made him, oh Lord, God made him rich. Because that's how God, that's how he did it. Even though sometimes you disobey God, but God is still hooking you up. God is still paying you. God is still blessing you. God is still blessing your health. God is still got you on God. Chapter number 12. 
Uh -huh. And there built in he an altar. Yeah. And to the Lord. See, some of us got sick enough. Abraham got sick enough. And when God sends you a promise, watch this here. Her, you can show enough to take it to the bank. Uh -huh. Watch this here. Amen. Why he's promising me. Now God's testing me at the same time. Yeah. He's going to see if it is that you believe that I promised you something. Will you keep worshiping me? Will you keep on living right? Will you keep smiling at yeah. you? Of the altar, altar which he had made there at the first, yeah. And there, Abram, Abram called on the name of the Lord. And then he what? Called. He didn't call, call, he didn't call nobody, he called on Yahweh, yeah. he called on Elohim, yeah. he called on Jehovah's Tower, yeah. he called on Jehovah's Tower, yeah. he called. Amen. 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 Yeah. It's kind of what's going on even right yeah. now. I don't know if it's too deep. Yeah. Uh, 
But that's kind of what's going on now. Yeah. There's too many people sucking up air yeah. and sucking up resources. Yeah. So what they do is uh, they start putting some stuff in the game to start knocking people off. Right. Why? Because there's too many people on the plane. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some uh, research. Uh, I wish I had some research. Uh, Oh, I tell you, the truth will set you free. Amen. Amen. When you know the truth, man, you don't spend your time on foolishness. Amen. 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 I'm done with foolishness, man. Amen. 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 The Bible says in verse number six, and the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together. Mm. For their substance was great. Mm -hmm. So then they, they could not dwell together. Mm. Why do we let stuff come between us? Mm. Mm. Why do people let stuff come between them? Amen. Why is it when they were in Ur or the Chaldees and they were broke, they didn't have no problem? But as soon as we start getting money, now, now we got like problems. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I believe. 
unbelievers. Most people miss uh -huh. unbelievers. Yeah. Here it is. They're in the midst uh -huh. of unbelievers. Amen. Amen. Right? Right? Yeah. Watch this here. I love Abraham because Abraham is starting to learn his lesson. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> He failed God last time. Right? Uh -huh. And caught up unbelief. Right? That's so right. He so he says, you know what? Ah. This time, brother, if it is, we can't get along and we got to spit up. But I tell you what, you have, you choose, brother. That's right. Why? Because I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you in front of these unbelievers. That's right. See, that's the problem. Yeah. We can't convert some people because they see the jealousy and the contention amongst them. Get broke, you can't get nothing. Not that's right. Not that. But if you keep 
even in the family. Nine. Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Hey. Minority. Ever realize. Ever. If they ever realize we're powerful, powerful together. together. Amen. 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 That's right. Wait. Yeah. Husband and wife. Huh? Ever realize. Take over the world. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You got it. I got it. We spend too much time mad and conflicting with each other. Yes. We still need to find a way to resolve conflict. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And Brother Stewart is still happy about something at home. Like she said, Sister Stewart should have a list. And the number one thing that Brother Stewart said that he's unhappy about, that should be the number one thing on her list. Amen. Amen. Why? Because she is one with that person. Amen. Like and if I'm at conflict, like he said, if I'm one with somebody, if I'm having conflict with me, then that means you're in conflict too. Amen. So Amen. Oh, 
bottom and you're going to lose your spouse. Amen. Where is the confidence at? Nowhere. Nowhere. Where is the confidence at? Where is it at? Nowhere. Where is it at? Uh. It's best. Watch this here. It's best. Is it? Love your wife. Watch this here. And remember, she's your help. Amen. You can't go out and go make a major decision, a major purpose without consulting with her. Amen. Amen. You don't go out and go buy a motorcycle without asking her. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 That's how we do. Right. I'm wrong. That's why you have so much conflict in the house. Amen. You there, I don't know about sex. Drugs. Oh, not drugs, excuse me. Drugs. 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 about sex or money or in laws or, or, or career. Somebody spend, hey, honey, you spend too much time in work. Hey, you know how I work. You know how I work. Right here, bigger than falling out. 
Yeah. You take your little herbs and you take your little tent and your money and you go to the right, bro. And it's right. I don't go to the left. Lot 
lifted up his eyes. Mm -hmm. Remember, Lot was, which one was he? Was he natural? Was he carnal? Or was he spiritual? Carnal. carnal. Very good, class. He was carnal. So what he did, nephew, he lifted up his what? His uh -huh. eyes. So when he lifted up his eyes, he didn't pray to God. He didn't set up an altar. He didn't consult with God. God, I see something I like. Should I move forward? No, I don't need God. I see a pretty man over here. I see a pretty man over here. I see a pretty woman over here. And I'm gone. Uh -huh. Most of us have made the most horrible decisions in our life because we go on with what we see. Oh, she looks good. That's all. Oh, he looks good. <laughs> that is the biggest mistake in your life. It's for you to operate on only looks. Right? Yes, looks will initially attract you to a person. No, you're not looking for the, uh, 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 a monster. <laughs> no, you're not looking for a woman whose weave is on crooked. <laughs> That's not what you are literally seeking out for. But if it comes that way, if the inside is all right, can you straighten out the weave? Sometimes. 
sometimes, brothers and sisters, there are some places God does not want you to go. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you can't handle it. That's You're right. not strong enough to handle some of these places. You're not strong enough to handle some people. You're not strong enough to handle some job. Some job, yes, they would be more, they would be more money, but they will take you away from Bible study, and they will take you away from worship, and they will drag you, and you will end up losing everything. That's right. Amen.
the last day died at an early age. Yeah. Right? And he was young. Uh huh. Amen. Amen. Abraham felt a special connection yeah. because he probably raised Lot yeah. as his own so, son. Right. 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 But God will test you mm. in the area where you feel the strongest connection about something and he wait on you if you will give it up. That's when it is that I'm going to give you the promise when you get there what it is that you're so connected to. Do you have a, do you have a 
waste? Yes, sir. Somebody, this is a day that's interested in somebody else you can go. I was able to see it. That means she ain't interested in me no more. Uh. So what I'm gonna do? Lock in the house? <laughs> <laughs> I see you, man. <laughs> that's some that's some old snap stuff. <laughs>
The next chapter. Sarah sees him fixing to give up everything that they got for cuz of what makes you buy. It hurts a woman when you will sacrifice more mm. for kinfolk mm. than you will do for her. Amen. 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 You can cash at me anytime you want to. <laughs> because I know that's what goes right there. Amen. Allow me, whenever the king folks come, uh -huh. they put on their heroic cape, yeah. and they go to the bank, yeah. and they come and play Superman, <laughs> and rail people out that don't want to help themselves. Amen. Amen. But yet the last chapter, Sister Shirley, the man put their whole household and whole life at risk. Amen. But through the grace of God, Amen. God would not let a man touch his wife because of the promise and the seed and the purpose that was connected to our life. And that's why God still has you here because he was a Which is 
in Hebron and he built there an altar. An altar. An altar to the Lord. When God sold you a glimpse of your blessing, he sold you a glimpse of your house, of your car, of your relationship. I don't know how you keep on sitting down with me right now. When he sold you a glimpse of what it is that he's going to bless you with, all you want to do is just give him a little praise and give him a little worship and give him a little hope. Walk around the time 